So here we are. Once again, Jake's doing a video about a camera. Well, again. let me tell you something. I've had this camera for months now. And unlike everybody else out there who immediately just put up a video, oh, I rode with it one time. I used it one time. Here's my affiliate link. Bye, bye, bye. No, I have lived with this camera for months now. I've been on two trips with this thing where this camera was my everything okay i want to tell you some about this camera you don't know about and some reasons why you do not need to buy a gopro anymore i'm so sick of that brand for a while i was always like yeah you can make these insta 360s work but they fixed that now i'm gonna explain it to you in a minute first here we are on the fz i haven't ridden this thing in a minute look at this thing god this is a crackhead bike and i love this thing let's go do some dumb stuff on this thing the insta 360 one r s is a new version of the old one r and what does that mean and what does it do blah 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 before i tell you about the camera let me tell you something that everyone should say when they get one the way i got mine um this was given to me by insta 360. insta 360 also has an affiliate program that i can make some dollar bills off of somebody in this room is selling out i believe you can live that world and be honest but most people on youtube have proven that otherwise i i am so tired of everybody on YouTube just bullshit reviews so they can get their money off some affiliate program. I don't do that. It's not even that Jake's just morally better than him. No, I, I'm in it for the long game. I want you to believe what I tell you because it turns out to be real. It turns out to be proper advice. I don't lie about that stuff because it's dishonest and it's just crappy to do to your fans and legally you're supposed to disclose it. But there's just so little integrity that I hate to even do a video about this product right here. I don't have any agreement. I don't have to do a video on it. I want to do a video on it because this camera is seriously helpful for motorcyclists who want to make videos like I'm making right now. So let's get the basics out of the way. This camera right here can be three cameras in one. That's like its whole big thing. And if you saw the video where I talked about the original one arm, this is just like an upgraded version of that. It still does all the same party tricks. 361 lets you do all the cool 360 things. We've got lots of videos on this I can refer you back to. I don't know if it's necessary to go deep, deep into it, but Basically, it does not see its own selfie stick, and that's how you can do cool stuff like like what you're seeing right here. It's kind of like we have a chase vehicle, and we can place this in all kinds of crazy ways and do fun shots with it. Uh, if you're ever really interested in just all that stuff and how that works, I have a video just about how I mount and edit with this 360 setup. So if you want to deep dive into that, it's a little extra work to set them up and to, to run them. There's also the cool drive-by shots you can do with a camera like this where you set it up and you ride past it. Night time lapses you can do with the stars. It does eat up a good bit of memory and battery when you use one of these setups. So carrying extra SD cards and batteries with you is ideal. That's kind of your basic on these 360 cameras. The other setup you can do with this is you could use this camera as just a general vlogging camera. And that looks a little something like this. And to start with, I wanna show you the most basic way you could set this thing up, the way probably a lot of people will. Just rocking the 4K lens. Now we can change the field of view here, watch. Now that should be a little more of a linear type of view, so it shouldn't be so fisheye. One of the neat things too with this is I'm looking at myself right now on camera. There's a lens facing back at me. I can also flip this module around and have the lens on the back side if I want to be a filming man and film. But if you want to invest and go to like a, a next step up, you could get something like this, the one inch mod. This will film in like 5.3K and it looks a little something like this. See, that's the one inch mod. The one inch sensor is why it's called that. And you see it definitely pulls in a bit more light. Everything looks a little bit more crisp with this one. Uh, obviously, we're downscaling this to put it onto YouTube. Start seeing how this becomes a little bit of a, a kit especially if you're out on the road on a motorcycle like I recently was. But this is still just the audio coming straight into the camera. There's also a mic adapter, which I'm gonna tell you about in just a second. And then finally, of course, you can use this as just a simple 4K vlogging camera, which is what we're doing right here. It looks good. Is it is it GoPro good? I'd say it's pretty close. I think a GoPro might still irk ahead with her like coloring and whatnot like that. I usually, play a little bit with the coloring anyway after the fact. I don't run it in the vivid settings because I feel like it just kind of overdoes it. <gasps> Gravel, lordy lord. Sorry, the problem before with this camera was you could run a mic adapter and run audio into these things, but if you're trying to really get decent in helmet audio, 
uh, it didn't do it. The audio just did not sound good enough to be used. The GoPro, which we've had to use for years as like your main vlogging camera, could be used with a mic adapter. And if you ran like a Purple Panda mic, you could plug that in, put a little bit of fluff around the mic. It worked. It just it was it was like a like a solid option. However, the GoPro mic adapters have been pretty much a pain in the since even the four was kind of a pain in the ass. They just made it just worse and worse as time has gone. The camera itself is finicky. The go the adapter is real expensive and bulky. Here, let me tell you what typically happens with GoPro. GoPro will have a camera come out and there'll be a handful of features or things that don't quite work right. You gotta basically wait for a software update, then everything will work. Every time they come out with that update, they f the media mod or the, the mic adapter. They just it up and this has been going on for years and this shows you they do 100% do not listen to their customers they would know this is an ongoing problem but they just can literally keep repeating camera after camera this is why I'm like I'm like passionate about telling you stop buying those cameras they don't care about you and then just general too they'll do like maybe one update call it good there'll be problems with the camera and that's just that they will not fix the camera and listen I can because um, I have spent a lot of money on GoPros over the years. Believe me when I say the brand does not care about you, they really don't. Insta360, on the other hand, continuously comes out with updates for their cameras and they improve them. Like, it's funny, like when one comes out, when I think about it initially versus like several updates later, I'll be like, oh, we're so much better to the point that I'm like, I almost feel like I need to review it again. <laughs> so sorry, my whole point though was is to say that the, the GoPros mic setup, while it works good, it doesn't work. This was something when I would communicate with it to 360 over and over and over again. I was like, y'all got to get it where you could rock this thing with a mic and get good audio in conditions like this. Well, guess what? That's what the newest one does. This mic adapter is fairly affordable. This is the mic adapter right here. Small little guy. I clip in right here to the side. Now you got options of hooking up something like this. It's just a simple little road mic and using the Insta360 body thing for the 1R. S, we can just plug which we can also do on the fly i love that you can do that and now i'm talking to you from a road mic with a big wind muff on it you probably actually can finally hear me good because there's a pretty steady wind out here i do have to remember to kind of look at this microphone but lots of options this is just one of the i think 30 40 dollar mics this isn't a very expensive one it lets you run power in which i'm doing up here on top and you can run a 3.5 mic straight in no weird usb mic nothing like that oh no a bump in the road Woo! <laughs> the mic has got levels of adjustment in there now. It's still auto levels, but you can turn up and down the dB, like I guess like a general dB. And with nothing but a simple purple panda mic plugged in and a little bit of fuzz put around the mic, uh, it works. With the option of doing the 360 stuff, the 4K stuff, and the vlogging stuff like this, this is a really cool setup. I, for instance, recently used this camera exclusively for a trip to Austin and a trip to the Mojave Desert. Throughout those trips, I did not bring a big DSLR. I did not want to. I was traveling by way of motorcycle. Those just take up way too much room. They're way too sensitive. Can we do it? It's just a street bike. Yeah, we can. There you go, that's a spot right there. <laughs> It is an adventure by <laughs> Dude, I can't even get to tell you how thrilled I was and I found out I could just plug a mic into this camera and just have it straight up work. I love riding this bike like this. It's been way too long since I've had this thing on a proper off-road ride now i know gopro's got their 360 camera also just be a vlogging camera too kind of thing but without being the modularity deal and you know they probably have something that is equivalently comparable to this but gopro does not support you when you buy their products now i know i'm just some guy with an affiliate link trying to make you buy some bull i don't blame you if you think that because so many people have done that on the internet to you guys so many people have just lied to you all i would not have put myself through this bullshit of using a camera that didn't work well just to sell a couple of them as i stand here on this with this beautiful beach behind me it's just a lake remember that the insta 360 is a super good idea now in the past it wasn't now it is and keeping in mind that the gopros are unreliable and they just do not support them i just want you to think really hard before you buy another gopro i'm a guy who bought a lot of gopros I ride motorcycles and make these videos. This is what I do for a living. I've been doing this for over a decade. So I had to rely on these cameras, just be my be my setup. I mean, I wasn't it wasn't for a fun hobby. It was no, they need to work for me. 
and they didn't. I gotta tell you some real stuff, guys. This video came out earlier. It's ad-free, uncensored, and extended over on Patreon. You know what? Everyone on the Patreon says, Jake, quit, quit advertising that part. You need to advertise the Discord where we talk about, I don't know, if, I don't know if I can mention what we talk about in there. We talk about very silly things. Join my Patreon, get in the Discord, it's just $1 a month. Oh, this is a good skid play hit. Well, that was good fun. It made so simple with my Insta360 cameras. Be sure to buy today. Use my affiliate link. Trust everything I've said. <laughs> so again, Insta360 One RS with their little mic adapter with a purple panda mic right here in an open MX helmet, the worst case scenario, and this is how the audio sounds. I put a little bit of fuzz in there, not blocking any of the ports though, so all that wind's still coming in. Some people won't get it, but if you struggle with a good audio setup, you'll understand why this is cool. A good audio setup that's not a GoPro, these cameras just, they just work. I don't know. I do not have reliability issues with these cameras. Sorry for being all ranty in the beginning, but it, it, does, it ticks me off the way people do these things, and it makes approaching them, from my point of view, very difficult without just sounding like you're being a sellout or whatever, right? I will not bow to any sponsor. <laughs>